Hey, this is Dave from Unipro, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn on the Facebook professional mode inside your Facebook profile. Now, this video is specifically for those who would like to turn on Facebook's professional mode, but the option isn't showing inside your Facebook account. So there are actually five steps that you can take to turn on your professional mode, even if that option isn't showing. We're gonna go through all five steps inside this video, and if you take all of these five steps, I guarantee that you're gonna be able to turn on professional mode right away. So let's dive in. If you use Facebook to grow your business, there's no doubt that you've heard about Facebook's professional mode. Facebook's professional mode is a way that Facebook's enabling business owners and content creators to use their Facebook profiles in new ways. I'm gonna show you some of the benefits of professional mode. So professional mode allows you to have these professional tools and creator opportunities. A big one here is that you can have unlimited followers. So you can have your friends actually become followers and you're no longer capped to just having 5,000 friends. So professional mode is a great way to grow your audience. It also gives you a ton of ways to monetize your content. So Facebook's actually allowing you to get paid for the content that you create when you have professional mode turned on. In addition to that, professional mode allows you to have access to new safety features that keeps your Facebook profile extra safe. So it's clear that there's all kinds of benefits to having professional mode, but what if the option isn't available inside your Facebook profile? Well, at first, when Facebook professional mode started rolling out, Facebook just said, hey, just wait, be patient. We're rolling this out little by little, so you need to be patient. However, Facebook professional mode has now been available for many, many months, and every profile should have access to it. Well, what if yours doesn't? You know, there's some advice if you go and watch videos out there, there's some people who will say, you just need to update your Facebook app. Maybe that'll do it. And I'll tell you, that is not the solution. But there are five steps that you can take that will actually help your account give you access to Facebook's professional mode, even if you're not seeing it as an option right now. So let's take a look at those options. The first is to unlock your profile. And I'm gonna show you something. Facebook at one time, it had an option to lock your personal profile. And this just simply gave you added security for your profile. However, this option doesn't exist on most profiles anymore and if you still have this turned on from previous years this could impact your ability to turn on professional mode now so let me show you how to access this on your Facebook profile, you're gonna go down to the three dots here. And when you click on that, you're gonna bring up your profile settings. And what you're looking for is this, lock profile. If your profile shows lock profile here, that indicates that you did turn on this profile lock at some time in the past. All you need to do is click on this and unlock your profile. And once you've done that, once you've unlocked your profile, now your profile can be made visible to the public, which is a requirement of having Facebook's professional mode turned on. I get it. So that is step number one. Take a look and see if you can unlock your Facebook profile. Step number two is to change your name on Facebook. Let me show you an example here. So this is an example of one of many people that I've come across who have multiple names inside of their Facebook profile name. And Facebook, it's been very clear that professional mode is for real people. It wants Facebook professional mode to be used for business. And so it seems like some people have had an issue turning on professional mode if they've had multiple names inside their profile name. Facebook may read this and think that it's not actually your given name. So so what you wanna do is you wanna change your name to just being two names. This tells Facebook that you're not doing something like this. I'll show you an example here. So Nikki here, this is her personal Facebook profile and you can see that her name is Nikki Healing Minds Coaching. And this is what Facebook wants to avoid is it wants people who are using professional mode to be using their actual personal name. And so if you have any sort of job title or any sort of business name inside your name on your personal profile, you wanna remove this and you wanna just use two names, just your first name and last name. Now you might look at this and you might think, well, the example I gave here with Amanda Camp Hendrickson, this could be her actual name. And that is true. Maybe you have three or even four or five names in your actual name. Unfortunately, Facebook could be reading this as something like this example here, and it could be therefore preventing you from having Facebook professional mode as an option. And I'm going to show you another example. Here's one where this person has put their name as Yo Sup. And obviously this isn't the person's real name. If you're using anything like this, that could be a nickname, a business name, anything but your first and last name, you may may wanna try changing your name to just one single first name, one single last name, and then Facebook will be more confident that that's your real name, which could then be used on a Facebook professional mode account. And then that option may turn on for you. So updating your name, that's the second way that you can get Facebook's professional mode turned on. Let me show you a third way. The third way is to report a problem to Facebook. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. You're gonna go over here to your profile image in the top right-hand corner of Facebook, click on that, and you're gonna to go to help and support. Then you're gonna click on report a problem and then you're gonna say something went wrong. When you click on this, you wanna say that you're gonna actually include a report. So click on this blue button here, 
And then when it says choose an area, where can we improve? Choose an area. You're gonna scroll down and we're looking for right here, professional dashboard. Then you're gonna give some details. So here's the report you're gonna give. And here's the script that I recommend. I'll let me read this out to you. It says, hi, I would like to begin using the professional dashboard. However, the option to do so is not showing for my profile found here. And then you'll see that I've got the URL that links back to my personal profile. Let me just show you how to get that. So I'm gonna open up Facebook and then I'm just gonna click on my name in the top left-hand corner. And then this is the URL that you wanna include right here. So this is the URL directly back to your personal profile. So that's where I got that link from, that URL. And then it says, can you help me enable professional mode for this profile? Thank you. And then insert your name. And then you don't need to insert a screenshot. All you need to do is click on submit and this is gonna go directly back to Facebook. Now this could take a couple of days for Facebook to read this and process it, but be sure to check back and go over here to your Facebook profile, click on your three dots and keep on looking for that professional mode option to be there. You can see mine right now, it says turn off professional mode. So mine is on. You wanna see turn on professional mode and that option will eventually show up right here in your settings underneath these three dots. So that's the third way that you can get professional mode turned on. Let me show you a fourth way and the fourth way is to send an email directly to Facebook support. I'm over here and you can see that I'm emailing support at fb.com and that's the email address that you want to use. For the subject line, here's the subject that I'd recommend. It says Facebook professional mode not showing. And here's the script, very similar to the one that we just used when we reported a problem. Here I say, hi, I'd like to begin using Facebook's professional dashboard. However, the option to do so, it's not showing on my profile found here. And then I give that link again, back to my profile. This time I say, as shown in the attached screenshot. And you can see down here, I took a screenshot. Where did that screenshot come from? Well, again, you can go back over over here to your profile, click on these three dots, and then you wanna take a screenshot here, and whoever receives your email, they'll be able to see that professional mode isn't an option right now inside of your personal profile. And so you wanna take that screenshot, put that into your email, and then you ask the question, can you help me enable professional mode for this profile? Thank you, and then insert your name, send that off. And so this is giving you a second opportunity to get in touch with someone from Facebook. They'll be able to go and reference over to your personal profile. They'll see that you don't have professional mode, and this just increases your chance that you're gonna get served quickly. So that's the fourth way that you can get professional mode turned on if it doesn't exist on your personal profile right now. Now there is a fifth way and the fifth way is to go get verified on Facebook. And I realize that this does cost money. It does cost money to have your verification on Facebook. However, when you get Facebook verified, then you're given direct access to support with a real person who works for Facebook. And so if you're not verified, here's what you can do. If you Google search how to get verified on Facebook, you're gonna come up with the instructions directly from Facebook. And it tells you how to subscribe to Meta Verified in the account center. And it walks you through all the steps here. Once you go through these steps, you're gonna get that verified blue blue check mark on your Facebook personal profile. And then Facebook's gonna give you special priority access to support from a real person. And at that point, you can submit this exact same message directly through your verified account. And you're gonna get a response very, very quickly. And again, I realize that this does cost money to subscribe to the verified program through Facebook. However, it does give you quick access to support and could help you get your professional mode turned on much more quickly. So there are the five tactics that you can use to get Facebook's professional mode turned on. I do highly recommend that you turn it on because it gives you all kinds of options for growing your business on Facebook. Now, with full transparency, I do use Facebook's professional mode, but I also use a secret tool that helps me get a ton of engagement, a ton of leads, and really helps me grow my online businesses through Facebook. And that special tool, it's called Unipro. And if you've never checked it out before, you gotta check it out. Go over to unipro.com. And you're gonna see that Unipro helps you find targeted leads. It helps you get into touch with those leads. It helps you nurture those leads. It helps you make offers to those leads, and it helps you make sales all through Facebook and all automated. It's been a game changer for my online business, and I know it will be for you as well. So that's what I've got for you in this video. If you have any questions about getting your Facebook professional mode turned on, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. I'm happy to help out. If this was helpful, give it a like and thanks for tuning into this video. Can't wait to see you in the next video.